Welcome back, everybody. Moving right along here. Go ahead and finish up this dialogue. The city of Krat. It's probably not how you remember it, eh? Ask me any questions, and I'll fill in the gaps. Venini Works is the puppet's main base. It's a factory where they manufacture more of themselves. Venini himself went to stop them, but I'm worried. He's an industrialist, not a fighter. Rescue Vanini and shut down his factory. That will deny the puppets their reinforcements. The cathedral is famous for its wise and kind Archbishop Andreas. He offers sanctuary to countless refugees there. The thing is, I've lost touch with him. Perhaps no news is good news, but I'm a suspicious sort. And if the puppets push towards the cathedral, it could be devastating. Go save the Archbishop and the refugees before it's too late. I don't know what's happening in the Malam district. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood seized the neighborhood, and that's all I know. It was always a run-down neighborhood, but it's descended into anarchy, or worse. I'm hearing rumors of monsters rampaging through the district. Those poor people. They need your help, son. Rosa Isabel Street is a stronghold of the puppets. It's a hunting ground where the most dangerous puppets roam. I believe it's the epicenter of the puppet frenzy. After all, I detected the strongest wave of ergo there. Especially for someone as precious as you. It's a perilous place. And when you walk a dangerous path, my son, it's best to take it one step at a time. No, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready for that. I'm ready, ready, ready. Let's go grab some fruit. Cruising right along so far. Bastards and the Sweepers. The Bastards are an organization of guards for the alchemists and the workshop. Motto, honor or nothing. The Sweepers are an organization of guards for the old families of Krat. Motto, we always repay what is owed. Historically, the relationship between the two groups has been turbulent but most were killed in the puppet's full-scale attack. That is what little I know beyond the hotel walls. May I serve you in some other way? Welcome. That sounds very dangerous. Geppetto usually isn't so reckless. The pain of his grief may be clouding his judgment. Uh, oh, uh, dear. Uh, I, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> you and Gebetto are always welcome at this hotel. Gebetto's room is on the second floor. You can stop by whenever you like. People have no thanks for keeping. You know. That book reminds me. Have you ever heard the fairy tale about a mischievous wooden puppet? 
all of Krat knows the story. All because of someone who loved that story more than anyone else. Ah, but this is strange. I, I do not recall... Who exactly was that someone? It was us. Solved. Why don't we make a legion arm with it? Mr. Vanini is the expert when it comes to legion arms, but I'm pretty sure I can make one. The puppets get fried easily by electricity. If you use an electric legion arm, it'll make your life easier. to save Mr. Venini, right? He's the richest man in Krat. A little eccentric, maybe, but a good person. I heard he went to shut the factory down. Hmm. I hope he's safe. I wouldn't want to lose my best customer. I know my way around him. Mr. Venini is the richest man in Krat. His company manufactures most of Krat's exports. He's, uh, peculiar, but a good-hearted man. Even though he's rich, he treats every employee with respect. I heard he went to shut the factory down. I hope he's safe. I wouldn't want to lose my best customer. All right, well, okay, wait a second. Quixotic. The golden record. It's like completely different.
It's actually kind of a nice one. <clears throat> All right, so we're kind of flying through. We flew through the first area and the second area pretty fast. I'm hoping that we can just kind of fly through this game for the last couple playthroughs we need. Um, I mean, of course, we're going to listen to the dialogue, talk to people. I'm not a big fan of skipping dialogue options. I figured out what records I'm missing and I really only missed one um, kind of unintentionally nice swing can't check here. I gotta, I gotta try to remember to check the uh, gramophone because I think we're missing six records. And I think three of them we end up buying for merchants. Two of them we won't get uh, for a couple playthroughs. We'll get one next playthrough and another one the playthrough after that. Let's see here. But I want to double check and make sure that um, that's all we're missing. Is the six. Which the gramophone should tell us.
right, we gotta go some direction. Every machine and tram and crod is supplied from here. You gotta be curious about the guy. What kind of person is he? Uh, I wish we could find him. That is, if he's still kicking. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I keep falling for that. What the heck? We got everything here. All right, I'll back up. Goodness.
friend, just where you've been? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations! You've been selected from this cast of... A little for an exclusive, obtrusive, intrusive transmittal for me, Arlecchino, the king of all riddles. Now, you know what I'm called and why I called you, and I want to know your name, but not till we're through. For as soon as I learn that's one riddle burned, and I do love a mystery, don't you? solve riddles, as everyone knows, that's a must. When your city is so full of puppets, it seems are about fit to bust. <laughs> it's time for the riddle. No more waiting. We thank you for participating. <laughs> By morning, it walks on feet numbering four. At midday, just two. No less and no more. It walks on three feet when the evening arrives. And if you solve this, then I'll know you're alive. Correct. Fantastic insights, caller. But not everything has to rhyme, you know. I'm not a caricature. I'm the king of riddles. That said, how do we know you didn't just get lucky? Even a stop clock is right twice a day, and even a puppet can be accidentally correct just by random chance. <laughs> Still, a promise is a promise. <laughs> Arlecchino, tell him what he'll get. Thanks, Arlecchino. Caller, your correct answer has earned you a trinity key. Doors and keys, and keys and doors. The subjects of puzzles and riddles galore. My next riddle won't be so simple to crack. Our Latino is the king. <laughs> Not some riddling cheap jack. <laughs> Easy peasy. I'll be kind of surprised if we make it to the next boss in this playthrough, or this video, I should say. Kind of a lot to go through here.
right, all right. Jesus Christ, leave me alone. fight that guy the easier way next time. Dang it. down there though. I guess I don't really have a choice though. I think this guy was kind of a pain. Oh, it's the first one of these. Hard as hell to be the first time. <coughs> A lot of this is we're just getting used to like the combat, how these enemies work a little bit more. Come here, you stupid butterfly. This is our first checkpoint.
This just goes outside to the big guy, right? No, okay. God, it helps if I'm not stuck on everything. <laughs> Rather not be corrupted. I have to just kind of take this slow. second I definitely didn't have that last time it's 
Some of these are giving me plus one amulets. I know I got that box last time. Fight him later after we drain the fucking acid water. Is this our. No. Thought that was a Trinity door for a second. I tried to heal. <sighs> Still a little upset that the Trinity rooms don't really have more significance other than just like what I think there's a quartz in each one or something like that. <laughs> I had a feeling I started running out too late and invincibility frames definitely don't work on that uh, let's see I think this is a shortcut now though it's kind of a shortcut I mean it's almost the same distance
Yeah, that's right. There's a lot happening here. Now that's a shortcut right there. I think we'll go up here and get the stargazer because I mean that's even a better shortcut like reasonable people hold on Geppetto's a friend of yours did he sent you I, I'm I, I'm fine please help me find my butler Pulcinella he's a puppet and a friend those stalkers were supposed to be working for me but well they bolted and left me to my fate that was not helpful. <laughs> My butler went to barricade the back door, and I haven't seen him since. Pulcinella has been a loyal companion. I'd hate to lose him. The factory is, of course, my priority. We must take it back. But please, keep an eye out for my... for my butler. I'd consider it a personal favor and owe you in kind. Before all this, uh, this chaos, Fuoco was the puppet in charge of the furnace. But he changed. He was a stand-up fellow once. Now, not so much. I'm told he's still building an army of puppets, and marching them on the cathedral. How did this nightmare come to be? Please. Must stop him before he does any more harm. Before all this, I'm told. How did this? That was kind of my main concern. Was I wanted to uh, get our level up done? Is this the way forward? I don't really remember anymore. That's a nice fucking throw you got there, buddy. Alone. 
Oh. <laughs> fucking damn puppet, man. That thing whooped my ass. Yeah, I think this is the way forward. Well, one thing I do know is that we need to go up above. Don't push me off. That was kind of scary. Oh yeah, this is definitely the boss door. Not ready for that yet. Got a little bit more running around to do. get that taken care of would be kind of nice. Darker friend. You made it all the way here unbothered by ruffians. You've got talent. I've never seen you before, but who cares? This may well benefit our former client. Did you catch that subtle whiff of money in the air? Moneybags himself, Lorenzini Vanini, is inside this factory this very moment. You caught us on our return trip. We had to deny his ridiculous request in person, just to be sure it wasn't a joke. All we could do was laugh. Keep your whiskers up if you're heading in there. He is the richest man in Krat. Or so they say. Who knows? Maybe he's handing out bags of money to lift his spirits. Ha! <laughs> that seems unlikely. No way are we doing that. Well, anyhow, best of luck. Best of luck to you, my best of luck to you. Are you carrying the latest edition of Vanini's Landmark Guide? It's the most popular non-fiction work in Kratz these days. Maduro wrote the actual guide, 
Vanini published and financed it. It goes for a premium at the shop, but Maduro might not get his cut. He went missing recently, which of course made that volume more popular than ever. If you can get all three volumes collectors want, bet you can get four. No, 5,000 for it at the shop. But you're in luck. I have a conscience and a powerful sense of self-preservation. I'll let this one go for 500. That's a good investment. Don't sleep through it. You'll wish you had this, and the price is a steal. Let me know if you have any interest. Yeah, I'll buy it. I know a smart bargainer when I see one, and you <laughs> really are something. I'm sure you'll regret nothing. I know a smart bargainer. Oh, which way to go? I don't really want to go in there. I'm just gonna whoop my ass. I'm just gonna whoop my ass. Everything's gonna whoop my ass at this point. two and three all right well I think this is where we call it quits get my stuff back run back over here Dr. Kirill. Alright. I think I want to take care of this spot first, but I'm uh, going to do that in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.